welcome to this week's edition of For the Now Space News. I'm your host, Colin Jason, I'm Matthew Colin Glass. And this Now Space News edition covers the week ending July 16th, 2022. It's a very special edition, actually, uh, because I'm adding a couple segments to it. And stay tuned for the end, because there is some news from the quantum grammar domain. Ooh. So you might want to stay tuned to that if you're if that's what you're interested in. Also, I'm going to be introducing a new segment, Meme of the Week. So that'll be coming up as well. To begin with, we have this news piece from The Byte, which says, Crypto investors are creating voice chats where they just scream and sob. <laughs> so we have whole bunch of tangible contract adjectives ending in the pronoun where which is followed by non-tangible contract adverb they which is then modifying just into tangible contract adjective which is coloring scream into a pronoun and then we have the neutral condition of state conjunction and with the syntax value of zero And that's a bridge between the two pronouns, scream and sob. Sob is also a pronoun. Well, yes, I know crypto's been taking quite a hit lately. And those, uh, it's really shaking up and crumbling up those paper hands and throwing them into the garbage, there's no doubt. It's turning diamond hands into paper hands. Our next headline comes from NBC News. Jill Biden's Texas speech fires up debate over breakfast tacos, a Latino stereotype, or a point of local pride. The First Lady's reference to a San Antonio culinary favorite unleashed a political and cultural firestorm, which some then rebuffed. So this is this heading is Latino. Now it's interesting because As I've shared in the past, I've met and become friends with many Spanish-speaking individuals, none of which ever ever referred to themselves as Latinos or Latina. They either refer to themselves as Mexicans, Cubans, Puerto Ricans, El Salvadorans, so on and so forth. But I've never actually heard them refer to themselves as Latinos. So that's interesting. So again, we have a bunch of adjectives, which coloring fires into a pronoun and nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in a continuance of the evidence or an adverb, which in this case, it is the latter. Adverb up, modifying debate into a verb, DE, particle of negation, no bait. Uh, Over non-tangible contract adverb, modifying breakfast into tangible contract adjective, which is coloring tacos into tangible contract uh, pronoun, followed by a break in the continuance of the evidence with the colon there, followed by adverb, adjective, pronoun, and then we have a neutral conjunction or, which is connecting the two syntax scenarios, one, three, four, and one, two. In this case, a is an adverb, modifying point into a verb. Of is an adverb, modifying local into an adjective, which is coloring pride into a pronoun. So, yeah, looks like Jill got herself into some hot water there. Ooh, coronavirus. Fauci acknowledges vaccines don't protect overly well against COVID infection. Fauci is an adjective. Coloring acknowledges into an adjective, which is coloring vaccines into a pronoun. Don't is an adverb, which is modifying protect into a verb. Now you see here, we have the quotations. So we have a space after the T in protect, and then we have the quotation mark. Then we have overly well, then we have the last quotation quotation mark, and then we have another space, and then we have against. So that's two spaces. That's also known as excessive spacing, also known as breaking and continuance of the evidence. So therefore, it's a one, two, and then 
a break in the continuance of the evidence, and then a 334 against COVID infection. Now, if we were to syntax overly well under the whatever the four corner rule, the rule of boxing, taking it off the page, whatever's in there is not there. It's some it's another contract, a different contract. Overly well would quite obviously be adverb verb. LY being the poison suffix that literally poisons. A tangible contract word into a non-tangible contract word but in this case over is non-tangible so it's a double non-tangible and it's triple void because quotations ly over and out which actually i remember uh, when i used to work a job that where you had to use a radio uh i had a very good friend whose name was Brian, he was in 82nd Airborne over in Iraq. And there used to be people on the radio who would say over and out and it would drive him nuts. He would say, you can be over and you can be out, but you can't be over and out. Because when you say over, it means you're, you want the other person to respond, you know, kuleana. When you say out, you're done. So you can't say over and out. Sorry, just wanted to share that with you. Next headline, NASA reveals web telescopes first images of unseen universe we have adjective 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 pronoun adverb adjective pronoun so nasa no veils web telescopes first no mages of not seen no verse. You know, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that every image that we got from space is a composite image, meaning they have to cobble these things together and they have to enhance them. And if you look it up, you will find that every single space photograph has been modified. I'm not just making this stuff up. It's very easy to find on Google. I mean, you get such beautiful, clear pictures like the one you see on your screen, which almost looks like a painting or digital art. Looks like something you'd find on one of those new age websites. Um, whereas you'll get high tech security cans with, that are all pixelated and you can't see anything. So it's amazing how they can have such clarity and beautiful colors allegedly millions and millions of light years away and then uh, right here in your face you get pixelated cameras and you, and you don't even have any clear footage of what happened at the Pentagon on 9-11. Did I say that? I said that. Next headline. What you need to know about BA.5, the new COVID subvariant taking over the country. Ooh. What you need to know. So you got to know it in the future about BA5, the new COVID no variant taking over the country. So we have pronoun, adverb, verb, adverb in the future tense. No is a verb about adverb. BA.5 is a verb. The is a pronoun, new is an adverb, COVID, adjective, subvariant, adjective, taking adjective over, pronoun, followed by adverb, the, and country, dangling participle, verb. So that's interesting. The country. I wonder which country they're talking about. If I had to guess, they're talking about past tense United States. And if that's true, I have not seen BA5 anywhere. Um, admittedly, I don't get out much, but when I do go out, I've never seen BA5 anywhere. Have you? I haven't. No, no BA5 sightings over here. Last headline comes from Common Dreams. Big Pharma has spent $147 million to kill lower drug prices during pandemic 
So we have a bunch of adjectives. Coloring million into a pronoun. Future tense adverb two. Modifying kill into an adjective, lower adjective, drug adjective, prices adjective, during adjective, and pandemic pronoun. So they're basically saying that Big Pharma spent money to kill lower drug prices. So they wanted to kill lower drug prices. I don't know. Maybe they felt their lives were in danger from these lower drug prices during the pandemic. So they were more worried about the drug prices than the pandemic. Very interesting. Well, that wraps it up for the news. Now we're going to go on to our meme of the day, which... I like cats, so I thought this was a funny one. A photographer took pictures of cats before and after she called them beautiful. <laughs> so let's start at the end of this sentence and syntax it together. We have tangible contract beautiful. We have non-tangible contract them. So beautiful is a dangling participle verb. Them is an adverb. Uh, called is a past tense verb. She is an adverb, after is a pronoun and is a conjunction, before is a pronoun, cats is an adjective, and of is an adverb. So let's explain this for a minute. Of is an adverb modifying cats into an adjective, which is coloring before into a pronoun the conjunction and is a bridge between the two pronouns before and after. And nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in the continuance of the evidence or an adverb, and she is an adverb. So then pictures would be a pronoun. Took is an adjective, photographer, adjective, and a is an adverb. And there you have it. And now for the news from the quantum grammar domain. So if you go to the Warcastle's website, all right, you will see that they published a video three days ago for the study of the quantum grammar. That is a correct title. But when you look at these other titles, you see a colon space. That means of the, that is not correct. And the reason why is because every correct sentence structure must start with a cause. For the, just like the title of this video. So it's a very short video. I'm just going to point out a couple things and then give closure on those things. So here you say, uh, see, colon, Russell hyphen J colon Gould. Look at this flag right here. Isn't that interesting what's on top here? This is a ball. This is quite obviously a finale, a topper, which when you go by this man, what he's taught in the past, prior to 2017, and what Colin David Ivan Wynn Colin Miller has taught, any time you modify a flag, that flag is no longer that flag, meaning the constitution of that flag is nullified. It's been modified. It's modification. It's what the fiction does. The fiction modifies itself. Correct sentence structure, there is no modification yet. Here we see a ball on the flag. Now, I don't know if that's a 1 by 1.9 flag. I can't see it. It's not being flown. I don't know what the hoist or fly is on that flag. What I do know is there's a ball on top of it, and he's sitting next to it. So, with all the titles that the man claims and all the things that he's taught, I'd have to reasonably guess that he knows that there's a ball on top of that flag and that that flag has been modified. Okay, next thing. You see this one by 1 1.9 flag and then we see the same mistake over and over with the colon space of the Title IV flag copyrights of the Postmaster General with the but let's play this a little bit and hear what the man has to say. Slow it down because it's coming too fast for me. With the concept of happiness, concept of love, concept of freedom, and concept of accountability through the quantum grammar. And the meritocracy is now 
in your hands. It's in your hands after you kneel down, kiss the ring, and get his autograph and thumbprint, and then he permits you to be free. That's how that works. So let's talk about the flag, ladies and gentlemen. And let's hear what this flag historian has to say about it. There are individuals who believe that that flag actually has political significance. However, from all of the research I've done, the indication is that a fringe is there only to make the flag look prettier, but it doesn't have any symbolic meaning. <laughs> Those who do find more meaning in the fringe believe that a fringe indicates that this is a, an admiralty court. And Listen very carefully to what he says next. He says, they believe that the fringe makes it an admiralty court. Listen to what he says very carefully, and I would like to, ladies and gentlemen, please listen very carefully to what he says. See if you can find anywhere where he says that that is not, that that claim is not true. Listen carefully. And that it is not a court under the Constitution, that there's a shadow uh, government in existence that is not lawful. However, um, if you try to tell a judge that he is not a valid judge because of the fringe on his flag, you might have a problem. There you go. No denials there, ladies and gentlemen. No denials there. Although it is true what he says. You try and tell a judge that. I mean, why would you tell a judge that? When are you going into their courtroom? Now, if they're in your courtroom, that's a different story. So, Army Regs, 840-10, uh, Chapter 2, Section 6, Prohibitions. The following rules will be observed. No lettering or object of any kind will be placed on the flag of the United States. No other flag or pennant will be placed above the flag of the United States. Flag of the United States, when flown in military posts, will be carried by troops, will not be dipped by way of salute or compliment. It will be displayed flat or hanging free. It will not be festooned over a doorway, arches tied in a bow knot or fashioned into a rosette. Flag will not be used to cover a speaker stand or draped in the front of a platform. Burning of the national colors arranged with the blue above, white in the middle, and red below should be used. I'm sorry, not burning. Whoa, bunting, bunting. Stop and correct. Should be used for this purpose and for general decoration. So my point here is... No lettering or object of any kind will be placed on the flag of the United States. Now, the reason why I highlight that is because that is in this book, okay? David Wynn Miller made a claim on this flag, okay? And he took this, Army Regulations 840-10, and these sections specifically, and incorporated them into his correct sentence structure constitution for the flag. So, that flag... That claim on the flag has never been challenged, and I participate with that concept because I have been successful in using correct sentence structure for the last five years, using that flag with my knowledge as the authority. So I have no reason to think that this is not correct. So when you say no lettering or object of any kind will be placed in the flag of the United States, really you could say on the 1 by 1.9 flag. And as Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould was a part of David's construct, he was also in accordance and joined her with these terms and conditions. And yet here we are with a modification of the flag. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for this edition of Now Space News. Hope you found it entertaining informative and i hope it cultivated your correct sentence structure knowledge until next time be safe see you next week thank you for watching this video i hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned you can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, 
or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.